Hello everyone, it's Monday, April 30th. I'm Johanna Comey. And I'm Mark Charter, and once again, thank you very much for tuning into The Surge. Mark, I cannot believe that it is the last week of classes before finals. I know, I know, it came up so quick, didn't it? It did. Are you getting nervous at all? You know, I'm not too bad this year. Um, I've got a lot of projects now instead of testing, mm-hmm. so that's, so that, you know, it takes a lot of time, but it's still hard. Just kind of starting to add up for you? Exactly. It's all starting to pile up. I'm a little bit luckier. I had a presentation, a couple papers due last week, so this week is a little bit easier for me before finals. Oh, you're so lucky. My week is off from yours because I start finals next week. I think this week I'll have papers due and then next week I have a presentation. So Well, just think of it this way. Only a little bit more and we'll be on the beach enjoying summer vacation. That's right, and hot weather. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. (laughs) Well, Jill had a fantastic CSS Spotlight last week and I'm very anxious to see what she has for us this week. I am too. Well, with that, let's take a look at what Jill has for us on this week's CSS Spotlight. All of the lights. I'm Megan Lawrence, and I play tennis at St. Scholastica, and this is St. Spotlight. I I would technically consider myself a singles player, um, by all means, Um, but Wells always throws me in with doubles. So I play a lot of doubles, too. I am at work in the admissions office on campus. I'm student employed. What do you do for admissions? I answer phone calls, check email, uh, send out mail, um, pretty much like greet students when they come in, send people out tours. Uh, I'm also in choir at St. Scholastica, and sometimes I get asked to sing at hockey games. Uh, I am one of the captains on the tennis team. We start technically in January. But we have the fall season, which runs like September to October. I think it will be an interesting year. We have a young team. We don't have any seniors. So that'll have an impact on everything. And I don't know. I think it'll be fun. We have a fun team. So I'm not worried that we're going to be bored on the road or anything. Cookie dough. Uh, yeah. Look. I'm going over Do you guys normally cupcakes? eat cupcakes at practice? Uh, yeah. AC over here brings us what something delectable at every practice. practice. Thanks, Jill. The Homegrown Music Festival is going on now through this Sunday, May 6th. The Homegrown Festival is Duluth's annual showcase of rock and roll music, and it began with just a handful of bands. However, now the Homegrown Festival features about 150 musical acts, along with a few filmmakers and other artists, and of course, there will be a bunch of beer there. Tickets are available in advance for this event at the Electric Fetus in downtown Duluth, and during the events, admission wristbands can be purchased at any venue that does require a wristband. A week-long pass is $25, a single-day weekend pass for Friday or Saturday is $15, and a single-day weekday pass Monday through Friday is just $5. And for a complete event schedule, feel free to check out TwinPortsNightlife.com. Get ready to witness and experience the unbelievable. World-renowned psychic and spiritual teacher Sylvia Brown returns to the Black Bear Casino for another evening of incredible predictions and fun on Friday, May 18th. Be prepared to be amazed during her 50th anniversary tour. The show starts at 7.30 in the Otter Creek Event Center. For tickets and information, visit www.ticketmaster.com. That sounds like it should be a pretty good event. It does. Well, get ready to be awestruck by the Illusions Comedy and Dance this Friday at 7.30 p.m. in the Mitchell Auditorium right here at the College of St. Scholastica. Illusionist Jared Sherlock fuses modern magic and illusions with comedy, dancing, and storytelling to create a modern-day variety show. His show is critically acclaimed for its collaborative and affecting performances. The company does feature a high-energy and eclectic show for the young and for those of you who are just young at heart. Sherlock is known nationally as a new and exciting young illusionist and entertainer, and he was also featured in the Wall Street Journal in October of 2008. Now, if you are a season ticket holder for the Mitchell Auditorium and Performing Arts Center, you'll want to listen up because this event is actually free to you. And for anyone else, the performance is just $10. 
Tickets are available at the Spotlight box office or by calling 218-723-7000. And once again, this event is being held this Friday, May 4th at 7.30 p.m. in the Mitchell Auditorium. That's a show that I'm not going to want to miss. I think I'm going to have to go. Me too. Definitely. It sounds interesting. The, you know, the tickets are affordable, so yeah, you yeah. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, come and enjoy A Night of Blues featuring Virgil Kane, Lamont Crayston, Mick Sterling and the Irresistibles on Friday, May 18th at Grandma's Sports Garden. Doors open at 7 o'clock and the show starts at 8. This is a 21 plus event. Tickets are $14 in advance and $16 at the door. You can purchase your tickets in advance at the Electric Fetus or at TwinPortsNightlife.com. Sounds good. Well, it's time for this week's happy hour, and our pick for this week is the Anchor Bar in Superior, Wisconsin. The Anchor Bar offers their happy hour from 10 o'clock p.m. to 1 o'clock a.m. daily, so seven days a week. A highlight of their happy hour offers $2.50 50, 50 cent pitchers of beer, along with offering a great happy hour, the Anchor Bar is heard to have the best burgers in the Twin Ports. They have won the Duluth News Tribune's Best Hamburger Hunt Award two years in a row, and they have even been featured on the Food Network show Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. So, take a ride across the bridge with your friends to drink for cheap and eat some of the best burgers that you have ever had at the Anchor Bar, located on 413 Tower Avenue in Superior, Wisconsin. You know, since it's summertime coming up, I bet their seven-day-a-week happy hour is going to be pretty busy. I'm guessing a lot of bars will have a lot of people in them for happy hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is exciting. All right, and now we're going to pitch to Billy Fay with sports. Welcome to the April 30th edition of The Surge Sports. We have a shortened edition of sports today, so let's right, get right down to some scores. Softball had a fury of games last weekend and early this week. On Saturday, the Saints traveled to Aberdeen, South Dakota, where they defeated the Presentation Saints 12 to nothing in five innings both games. CSS stopped in Morris for a couple of games on their way home on Sunday and defeated the Cougars 9 to 1 and 12 to 6. On Tuesday, the Saints and the Northland Lumberjills hosted the Northwestern Eagles and Crown College Storm at Kenwood Field. CSS participated in two games, first defeating the Eagles 3-0, then having no trouble calming the Storm as they defeated Crown 21-0. The CSS baseball team was also in Aberdeen last weekend for a three-game series in the Battle of the Saints at presentation. The first game started with a 17-5 victory in seven innings in Aberdeen, and then Saturday, the Saints of St. Scholastica took the doubleheader 13-5 and 19-1, so just as a softball team did, baseball had no trouble with presentation. The men's and women's tennis teams both played host to Martin Luther and Minnesota Morris last weekend. On Saturday, the men's and women's team both beat Minnesota, er, Martin Luther 9-0, and on Sunday was all the same story as they beat Minnesota Morris 9-0 in both as well, and both the men's and women's tennis teams remain undefeated in UMAC play. The men's and women's track team found some success in De Pere, Wisconsin last weekend as they traveled to the St. Norbert Invitational. The men's team got third place out of, ele er, out of 12 teams, and the women took first out of 11 teams, so a lot of success for the Saints in track as well. So 14 team wins and a third place finish wraps up another successful week in St. Scholastica Athletics. Remember to tune in to CSSSaints.com for your most updated sports news, and be sure to watch The Surge next week. All right, thank you, Billy. Well, Mark, I know that you are a huge Kardashian fan. I am, I am. Well, and you are too? I am. I love okay. the Kardashians. <laughs> Did you hear that last week the Kardashian family signed a new TV contract, a mm -mm. three-year contract with E? Three years? Three years. Keeping up with the Kardashians? Keeping up with the Kardashians. You know, the last couple years they've done Chloe and Lamar, mm -hmm. um, the Miami show, mm -hmm. New York. Mm -hmm. But this is for the whole family. We get to see them back together for Keeping Up with the Kardashians for three seasons. You know, I think about hearing <laughs> three years more of this show, and I just I can't imagine how much money they, no. they have in their bank accounts. You I know? know, and especially on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you get to see a really good um, view of each one of their homes mm -hmm. and each one of their lifestyles, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm very envious. I wouldn't mind having <laughs> that lifestyle one No, day. <laughs> no, not at all. Right. 
All right, well, that's all the time we have on this week's episode of The Surge. Thank you so much for joining us, and don't forget to like our page on Facebook. Have a wonderful day, a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time right here on The Surge.